Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. We're going to do a review on this lovely mic, the Jay-Z Amethyst, and they're going to give one of these to us to give away for free. So the good folks at Jay-Z have given us this mic to try. I like this a lot. I feel like this and the Mojave have got some kind of, I don't know, some kind of sizzle to them. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, there's a little tiny bit of grit, an extra, I don't know if it's additional kind of harmonic stuff going on that complements my voice. I, I tend to sound like an English choir boy sometimes, and I'm about to do, well, you're about to hear a cover of Fire and Water by Free, which of course is Paul Rogers. And Paul Rogers is one of the great bluesy rock singers of all time, and I am not a great bluesy rock singer. It's a really good test. I feel like there's a couple of things I like out there that add a little extra pizzazz, but this did really, really well in lots of situations. We put it on a lot of different instruments, so you're going to get to hear it. But I think on the vocals, it fared exceptionally well. This is normally, I think, a $1,200 microphone, and they're going to do it at half price. Plus, if you put in the code Warren, that's W-A-R-R-E-N, you get free shipping all over the world. So half off. I've been told actually by young Eric standing over there that actually have a sale on all of their products for the next, let's look at the piece of paper. It's 12 days. So I believe it's the 15th or 16th today and it's going through to the 26th. So that's pretty darn good. Every single day Got a heartache coming my way I don't want to say goodbye, baby But look at the tears in my eye I don't want to say goodbye, mama But look at the way you made me cry Every way that's nice you show You've got a heart that's made of ice And I know fire and water must have made you their daughter You've got what it takes To make a poor man's heart break A poor man's heart break Baby, you turn me on But quick as a flash, your love is gone Baby, I'm gonna leave you now But I'm gonna make you grieve somehow Fire and water Must have made you their daughter You've got what it takes To make a poor man's heart break A poor man's heart break
I did go online and do a little bit of research, and the comparisons are usually with a U67. And I would say a Neumann U67 is one of the most famous rock mics. When I worked with Brian Colstrom and Dave Jordan for a while making records, Brian had this really special U67. And it had something quite magical about it, meaning it you know, had that Neumann specialty to it, but it also had just that little extra tiny grit. There's quite a few producers and engineers that love 67s on pretty much everything. Nigel Godrich is famous for using 67s all over the place. The engineers I know that work with him say he'll just take a 67 and move it around. It is an incredible mic. So if this is a mic that you can reach for as an affordable alternative to to a U67, that's a pretty interesting claim. So that's why I chose Fire and Water, because I think of bluesy rock being recorded on a U67. Again, I don't have that kind of voice. I've got a much cleaner voice than anybody as amazing, of course, as the incredible Paul Rogers. However, it was my attempt. Okay, it is an electrostatic transducer type. It is pressure gradient, cardioid fixed pattern. It's pretty good on the P's pattern. Diaphragm is a one inch Frequency response is 20 to 20K. Maximum SPO is 134. We put it on bass and it worked. So as a bass mic, we did pull it back a little tiny bit, but then I would never put any kind of condenser directly on a speaker. I'd always pull it back about four or five inches. So that was not unusual. I like specs. Every microphone manufacturer has specs and spec sheets and, and graphs. Honestly, the only thing that matters to me, and I'm sure you, is how does it sound? It's interesting, like with speakers, for instance, you know, you get 10 pairs of speakers and they all show you a graph that looks almost identical. Or you use like a really great expensive software and you, you flatten everything out so they're all even and they still sound different. Um, there's a lot more to it than just specs. I will say I enjoy this on my vocal. Um, there's been a couple of mics. This is the second one recently I've really uh, dug on my vocals. And again, I think with a mic with a little extra... Pizzazz? I don't know what it is. You tell me. You you can download the multi tracks and you can hear for yourself. There's acoustic guitars, there's bass, there's, well, you hear it. Electric guitar, it's all in there. Download the multi tracks and hear for yourself. Mix them. You know, it's our usual chains going for the audience. You get all of the usual stuff so you can compare it against other microphones and maybe make a choice. I will say at half off, it's a very attractive mic to get at the moment. It's a very competitive industry at the moment. There's a lot of people at home making music, looking for affordable mics. In fact, the funny thing is a friend of mine just uh, messaged me yesterday and said for 500 to to $1,000, what can they get that I would recommend for a vocal mic? Well, the fact that they're doing this half off, there's a great recommendation. I think it's very competitive. There's a lot of incredibly good products now out there at an amazing price point. It's insane, isn't it? The whole industry has changed. Now, these are obviously made in Latvia. Well, you know, for, well, wow. does anybody know ge geographically where Latvia is? Look at it on the map. One, two, 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 one, two, 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 one, two, 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 two. Pretty tight polar pattern. How many P's can I say? I'm not running a um, pop screen on it, but check it out. And don't forget to enter to win this microphone. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to download the multitracks. That really is the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Because, you know, we can talk about it. You can look at specs. I really believe strongly that microphones are instruments. You know what I mean? Because if they have a certain sound for me, especially as a guitar player more than a singer, I'm just a B minus C minus singer. When I hear something in my headphones that has a certain, like, interesting sound to it, I dig in, I play lighter, I play hot, whatever it is, it affects how I perform, which is why we don't just use one microphone. I and mean, it's not just that a U47 is the best microphone for everything ever made. We know that a U47 is an incredible microphone, but it's actually not the best microphone in every situation or else that would be all we would ever use. And I know people that have, you know, hundreds of very, very expensive microphones and they don't always use all of the expensive microphones. They put all kinds of different things on there. So, with all of that in mind, um, yeah, I think at the moment, at the deal they've got at the moment, it's a, it could be a why not product because it is half the price that it normally would be. Um, I'm not sure what else it's competing with at that kind of price. It might be sitting on its own. I'm sure this is why 
They're giving it to us for, to review, to let the whole world know that they're having a deal. Makes sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, don't forget to enter to win. There's going to be a link below for that. Most importantly, download the multi-tracks so then you can hear for yourself. And of course, as ever, leave any comments and questions below. If you've used the mic and you have experience with it, let us know. If you have a favorite microphone in this sort of $600 price range where this currently is at, also let us know. I'd really, really love to know what you think. Have a marvelous time recording and mixing. See you all again very, very soon.